Hello everyone, um, it's been almost a year since uh, I ordered my first automatic watch and this is uh, this was my Orient uh, Mako as you can see here um, the glass is a little bit dirty but uh, here it is it's been working uh, perfectly for me um, I really enjoyed uh, um, using it, wearing it so since it's been a year, I decided to add another uh, Diver automatic watch to my collection and uh, I decided to go with uh, Steinhardt, which is a German company that makes uh, um, watches in Switzerland, as far as I know. And uh, I read a lot uh, about these watches, um, mostly uh, opinions were very good about the quality, the working and stuff like that. So decided to order one today. And since um, I really like the Rolex Submariner um, look, um, I decided to go with the homage. And uh, I decided to order the Ocean One, um, 42 millimeters. And uh, I decided to get the, the green one, which uh, I really, um, liked the most I think um, and I have this one which is blue mostly um, and I decided uh, that I will next my next watch will be a solid black one with a black bracelet and black um, uh, case black bezel and everything black so um, decided to go with the green one so I just uh, I just received the package so let me go ahead and uh, unbox this thing and see what's inside um, you have probably already seen this since there are plenty of YouTube videos that show the unboxing so here is the little card which tells you what to do if you would like to return it which I'll most likely not gonna do here is the Ocean One Green the uh, ETA inside so a small manual so here is the the box that everyone knows um, I don't know if it's leather or not doesn't really matter for me to be honest let me move this to the side there's a little button and let's see what's inside all right looks really nice um, it's it's already moving from this little um, maneuvers let's say that uh, I was making with the box let me let me take it out this goes pretty tight let me move the box to the side okay looks really really nice Okay, everything is protected, this is brand new, I ordered it, uh, I ordered it from, a, um, from a Steinhardt dealer here in Poland, the official Steinhardt dealer, so hopefully, um, um, I mean hopefully, um, at least I have a good place to go back to if anything goes wrong. But of course, you can order these uh, directly from, from Steinhardt, and the price is basically the same. That was uh, that's why I didn't order it directly because the price was basically the same. So I could order it here in my country. I ordered it. Uh, I ordered it uh, yesterday. No, sorry, I ordered it two days ago, and I got it today. So really fast shipping. Looks really nice. Okay. So this is the. Um, Rolex Submariner Homage Great looking watch, first impressions really nice um, Of course I will probably have to remove um, the bracelet at least one uh, one piece from it Here's the clasp some protection film on it 
micro adjustments. Maybe let me open it if I can. Okay, I gotta use my nail like that. There we go. Stainless steel. Looks really cool. Okay. It's basically the same size as the um, as the Orient Mako. This is a good size for me, I guess, because um, I have a pretty big wrist, so I would not like to have a smaller one. For example, 40 or 39 millimeters. You can get these in uh, 39 also, but I believe it would be just too small for my wrist. The Cyclop. Um, it's one and a half um, times uh, the original size and the Rolex from what I know is two, two, two and a half times so this is smaller than the Rolex but like I said um, there's no way I could afford a uh, $10,000 watch and this, is one, this one is like uh, 400 euros so and I really like the style of the watch great Okay, let me remove this. There is already something on the glass here. Ah, the bezel looks works really nicely. Aligns perfectly. And here is the Mako bezel. Very similar sound to both of these. So first impressions great. Um, I will probably do a review uh, quite uh, some time after after I'll use it. There's a sapphire, sapphire glass, of course. Nice logo here on the back. All right, so. Let, uh, let me pause for a second, let me remove all the protect, protection film and all that stuff and uh, put it on my wrist um, like it's supposed to be. Alright, so here it is on my wrist. I think uh, the size works perfectly, although there is a pretty big gap, I'll have to I'll probably take um, at least well, probably two uh, pieces of the bracelet out. And uh, I didn't mention this before, but uh, the bracelet has uh, screws. I don't know if it will focus on it or not. If you'll be able to see it. So it's a, a screw and bracelet. Looks really, really nice. Also it's it's pretty heavy um, but uh, it's not a problem for me uh, at least I'll feel something on my wrist which is really really nice here's the Steinhardt logo on the on the clasp really nice All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will make, a, at least I'll try to make a, a small review of both of these watches. Um, I've been using this one for over a year now. Uh, not, not over, almost a year now um, since I bought it. It's, it's uh, the end of September and I believe I bought it um, at the beginning of November last year, if I remember correctly. And uh, I really like this watch, um, works perfectly and uh, nothing is happening to it and um, I already know that I'm going to really enjoy this one. So hope you enjoyed the video, um, subscribe for the channel if you want and uh, like the video of course, comment if you have any questions, let, let me know and uh, see you guys in the next one.